guys. I'm so glad to see you again. Our foundation for the week is God is Savior. God gives adoption. And our big truth for this week is God is Savior and we cannot save ourselves. And our Bible verse for today is in Isaiah. Isaiah 43, 11. I, I am the Lord and besides me, there is no Savior. Let's work on that verse a little bit together. It's I, I am the Lord, and besides me, there is no Savior. Isaiah 43, 11. All right, now let's say it together. Way up high. All right. I, I am the Lord, and besides me, there is no Savior. Isaiah 43, 11. Very nice. All right, now let's say it way down low. I, I am the Lord, and besides me, there is no Savior. Isaiah 43, 11. Now let's say it holding our nose. I, I am the Lord, and besides me, there is no Savior. Isaiah 43, 11. <laughs> Excellent job. Practice that some this week, okay? Our big truth this week tells us that God is Savior. Do you remember learning last week that a Savior is someone who saves somebody? Kind of like a superhero. Let's use our imagination. Let's pretend that Dylan here is being chased by a terrible, horrible giant. <gasps> Dylan has run and run and run and run until he reached the edge of a big hole. Let's pretend that the driveway is a big hole. So deep we can't even see the bottom. Hello down there. All Dylan has to do to be saved from the terrible, horrible giant is jump to the other side of the hole over there in the grass. Great. Let's go, Dylan. <coughs> Only problem is, Dylan can't jump that far. But what if a superhero came along who could carry Dylan to the other side? Hey! Hi, got you! You're saved! Yay! That's a lot like us. We're stuck on one side of the big hole and God is on the other side. And our sin is the big hole that separates us from God. All we have to do is get to the other side where God is, but we can't. Our sin is just too big and there's nothing we can do to make it go away. Thankfully, God sent Jesus to our side of the hole to take the punishment for our sins by dying on the cross so that we can get across to God. Nobody else can save us, not us, not our parents, not our teachers, not even a superhero, only Jesus. Our story today takes place in the Old Testament. That's before Jesus was born. The Israelites were living in the promised land, but they had turned away from God and were worshiping idols, pretend gods. And because they chose to worship fake gods instead of the real God, they were being attacked by the Philistines. And there was nothing they could do to beat the Philistines. They were stuck. The Israelites cried out to God and asked forgiveness for worshiping fake gods, and God heard their prayers. When the Philistines came to attack the Israelites, God made a huge thundering sound that confused the Philistines so much that the Israelites were able to go out and attack them, and with help from God, were able to drive the Philistines out of their land. God fought for the Israelites and did what they could not do. Just like God fights for us and saves us when we cannot save ourselves. Jesus is the only one who can save us from our sins and make us part of God's family forever. Now pick a few songs and sing and dance and praise the Lord. But before we wrap up, let's say our prayers. Big clap. God, we thank you for another wonderful day and the chance to come together and worship. 
We are so thankful that you sent Jesus to die on the cross for our sins when we cannot save ourselves so that we can be together with you forever as part of your family. We pray for a wonderful week ahead. In Jesus' name, everybody said, Amen!